Let's talk about igneous rocks. So, igneous rocks form from the cooling and solidification of magma or lava. This can happen on the surface of the earth or deep within the crust. There are two types of igneous rocks. Intrusive igneous rocks, which form from magma, and that cools slowly inside the earth, resulting in the formation of large crystals. Take a look at these samples of igneous rocks, including this pegmatite and this granite. All of them have visible, intergrown crystals that resulted from slow cooling. But then we also have extrusive igneous rocks. Now these form from lava on the surface of the earth where they cool quickly. As a result, there are tiny crystals or maybe even none at all. And you may actually see trapped air bubbles, giving it a vesicular texture. Take a look at this sample of rhyolite, which has microscopic crystals very difficult to see. Or this sample of obsidian, which cooled so quickly that no crystals formed at all. Here's a vesicular rock called scoria, and you can clearly see the trapped gas pockets within that formed during the cooling of the lava.